Hello and welcome to episode 112 of Dorky's Entropia Universe Report. I would like to apologize for skipping a week. The reason behind it was that I have not been in the best place mentally over the last week or so. I spent the whole time doing tasks that do not require much thinking and kept me occupied so that getting through the wild mood swings that came with a massive migraine would be easier for me. Pills helped me with most symptoms of the migraine, but the crappy mood and difficulty focusing on tasks more complicated than mindless mining and tapping on the phone remained. So I was playing Entropia Universe from the moment I woke up until I dropped late at night and also played some random poopy mobile games in between while digging larger claims. That is how I managed to go through 2.4k pad mining unamped in a single day. Although dropping for all three resource types on Arcadia helped with that a great deal too. Anyway, as you can see in today's video, I also spent some time on Next Island hunting creatures and I picked up my fourth Ascension Armor part from Socrates. I cannot remember what day it was when we got the June results for the Community Recognition program though. The whole week was a bit of a blur for me. Either way, congratulations to all the winners if any happen to watch this video and thanks to Socrates for the armor part and putting in the work checking entries and I assume also doing lots of other stuff around the recent Next Island Forum upgrade. It is quite nice and uplifting to see more and more winners each month. I think that means the Next Island community is growing and even though most people probably do not spend all their time on the planet, it will help the place for sure. I like seeing planets other than Calypso do well and grow their community. Of course it is nice to see Calypso prosper as well, I am just saying that other places need some love too. Anyway, I am now on Arcadia to do a bit of work on some new codex challenges and do lots of mining, but I will keep coming back to next island as well. After all, these two planets are not that far away from each other. Either way, today's episode will have a little bit different format than usual. Since I barely remember anything I did over the last week and a half or so, I will just blabber on about the stuff I do recall, add a short avatar progress update since I have not done one of those for a while now and briefly touch upon the deeds and share payouts for this week. So I guess today's episode will be the same as usual. After all. Anyway, hopefully you won't mind if I just skip the last week's payouts and only go over the most recent ones. I kind of assumed a long time ago that nobody watches this series for that info anyway, but keep putting it in because it is a long running tradition for me and I can't just drop that segment all of a sudden. Maybe I will gradually phase it out over a longer period of time. Actually, I might have already started that process a bunch of episodes ago by significantly shortening the Deed and Sharp segment. Either way, let's go over my avatar's progress now. I am getting close to hitting 370k total skill now and might actually make it there before next week's episode. Especially if I do some hunting in between my mining trips as some more obscure skill rewards from completing codex ranks will do a lot to get me those 247 skill points I need to reach 370k. Also, I got an increase in some of my attributes thanks to codex attribute challenge, the most notable being 2 or 3 points in stamina. I now have 39 points in stamina. Aside from that, I also increased both my agility and strength to 87 points and intelligence to 81 points. My avatar now has high enough IQ to be only mildly retarded. If I can somehow get 19 more points in that stat, 
I might have to stop posting all those sexual jokes about Luteus in society chat, as well as cut back on my toilet humor. We cannot have an avatar of average intelligence talking like a five-year-old now, can we? That brings me to my psyche stat. There I sit at 69 points and refuse to take any psyche reward from Codex or use any mind force chips other than my El Chipo healing chip. That stat is just way too precious to me to lose. Other than that, the only significant progress I got recently was reaching 247 hit points. When it comes to in-game activities, my main focus was on being last week's dedicated bad boy for Luteus. Most of my hunting and all my mining gave me decent TT returns, however, I did make the mistake of clicking some expensive to click blueprints that went horribly wrong. The worst among those was when I tried to craft myself a single Terra Amp 5. I wanted to make one and go mining with it. And while I was setting up my craft, Luteus snuck behind me with his giant 42-inch dragon toy of doom. May you rest in PC's pet card. You shall not be forgotten. Anyway, I got exactly zero successes in 10 clicks and did not have materials to keep trying. But considering how shitty those 10 clicks went, I doubt that I would have ended up with better results if I kept trying anyway. Either way, that was a huge 80 ped per click mistake that I do not plan on repeating anytime soon. At least I forgot most of the other poop I clicked that I should not have clicked and I still have enough ped to keep on playing and make back what I lost. Mining is decent for that, provided you have enough of a budget to survive the occasional loot swings. Anyway, now let's go over the deed and share payouts for the first week of August 2021. Arcadia Mundits paid whopping 2 packs over the entire week, and I am proud to announce that tiny part of that was thanks to the large unamped mining run I did there. I was looking for the high markup stuff over there, so of course I found the call when it comes to the markup and came back with tons of TT food. Although I did end up in TT profit by about 200 ped on that 1.2k ped mining run. It paid back a portion of that 600 ped loss from clicking Terra Amp 5 blueprint. Anyway, Crystal Palace shares paid one pack once again. Migration sucks Kong Dong when it comes to payouts from anything other than CLDs. Ancient Greece shares did not pay anything at all this week. To conclude, sorry that I went MIA for a bit. I had a poopy week and a half or so. But I should be fine for a while now, so you have a load of dorkylicious videos to look forward to. I was working on a bunch of videos before my plans went tits up, thanks to the migraine. Although some of those videos will bore you to death if you do not enjoy long mining videos accompanied by random cheap music tracks. Aside from some D-class mining runs from Next Island, I also have some mob-focused videos in the works, and after I am done with all that, there will be whatever my depraved mind can come up with. But do not worry, I shall not start posting nudes of myself, I am not that big of an asshole. I might grab some mankini and do a bit of cheap hunting or a few mining trips wearing that though. That is if I do not forget about those plans by the time I get done editing my backlog of videos from the last two weeks. Anyway, thank you for watching and good luck out there. Also, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. Thank you.